turn our video in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to make these little girl tag monkeys mm -hmm. i'm here with my little sister say hi hi and i'm we're going to be teaching you how to make these little monkeys now this one's kind of cursed as you can see his eyes kind of yeah. cursed but yeah um i'm going to be teaching you how to make these and yeah make sure to like and subscribe see you later. the first thing you want to do is you want to get two pieces of paper yeah. probably cardstock would be preferable you want to get a white one and you want to get a color of your choice. For this video, I'm just going to use orange, but you can get a color of your choice. And and you can choose and you can choose to outline it for me. I did to help you guys. These lines right here, those are just like mistakes. But yeah, I'm gonna. These are the basics we need for now, at least. So yeah, let's get started. What you want to take is you want to take your white piece of paper, and you want to get some scissors, and you want to cut it out in a straight line like this. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get it cut out, and yeah. yeah. Once you have the white paper cut out, then you want to do the same thing with the orange. Now with the with this, you want to have your orange be thicker yeah. than your white. But in this case, I didn't do that. But it's okay. You can all, you can just make sure it's thinner than your white. You don't want it to be thicker because if it's thicker, it won't look good. It will look like the white's covering the the orange. You don't want that or whatever color you're using. So yeah, cut out the orange and then we'll move on to the next step after you just do the same thing with the orange. Make it a little thicker to make it look like there's a marking on the belly. Yeah. And also after you cut this out, one thing you can do and if it's too thick like this or if it's thicker you could take it, you take your scissors, for this case I'm just using these because I have them right here, and you could thin it up. So let's cut out like a little strip of it, or in this case if you made it thick enough, a little bigger strip, but yeah, this way you could do it too. Okay. And once you have your two pieces cut out, now your white piece might be bigger than your orange piece like this, and if it is, then simply you want to take your scissors and just shorten it up. You don't want it to cover exactly, you don't want it to be the same length, you want it to be kind of smaller. So that way it looks like there's a marking on some of the belly. Once you have your two pieces perfectly fit, and it should look something like this when you're done, you then want to take um, a glue stick. A glue stick. Wait, what's a glue stick? We're finding the glue stick, sorry. Okay. Once you have a glue stick, or if you just want to use you do, use dollop glue, whatever you want to call it. I don't know why I call it dollop glue. You want to take your glue, and you want to glue the white. That glue doesn't work, by the way. Yeah, it does. Uh, you want to take your glue, and you want to... You want to get it all over the white paper. Make sure it's nice nice and sticky. You want to have the majority of it covered. The last time I used that glue, it wasn't working. I'm recording a YouTube video. It's okay, but I mean, I don't, I don't really want you sharing live stories. Okay, so yeah, once you have your white piece nice and covered with glue, if you're using purple glue, it looks something like this. You just want to simply put it on your orange piece like that. And you're starting to see it kind of looks like a real tag character. So yeah, that is the main body done. And we're going to add, and yeah, main body done. So now we're going to move on to the arms. So let's get started. Okay. So now you want to take your orange paper, and you should have two mitten-like shapes cut uh, made, just like that. Kind of like someone's giving a thumbs up. And you want to simply just cut them out. It's not that hard, so I'm going to cut one of them out first. Or you can do them both at the same time, whatever you want to do. I don't really, yeah. Cut them out, and then, yeah. And once you have your hand out, as you can see, I accidentally cut some off. But that's okay, because the next thing you want to do, as you can see, this doesn't really look like a grill tag hand. So that's why we're, we want to cut off the triangular, like this. Triangular what? No, you mean square? Yes, Kelly, yes, I do. The square part at the bottom, below this, like, little rectangle part, you want to cut it off. Like so, just snip it off. And you should have something that looks like a rec room hand if you play rec room. Then, what you simply want to do is you want to cut a V shape into it. So you just want to cut like a simple little, little V. Pretty simple. And then, you can take it out. And you should have something that looks like this. And you can see it's starting to look like real tag, but that's not all. Now, if you want, and if you don't, you can skip it if you don't want to do this. You can skip the head to the uh, to a, he a head a little bit, but if you want, you could take your scissors and if you're pretty good at arts, you could cut off little corners to make it look more curvy. Like look, 
do that. Well, hold up. Now, I think Gorilla Tag, the fingers aren't that curvy, so you don't got to make it too, too curvy. But, I mean, if you want to go full on detail out mode, then you can. But, I mean, they're really not that curvy, so. Go to me. Yeah, you want to, like, look at, look at this one, and then look at this one. Much more curvy. So, yeah, um, and then I'll tell you what to do next. I forget to mention this. If your foam is too big, you could cut off a layer, as you can see. Uh, this is what I had originally. It looked like this. And then I cut some off to make it smaller. But, yeah, you could do that, too. You don't got to, though. Once you have your hand cut out, you want to take a light, nice long strip about the length of this paper. Maybe a little shorter if you want it. I'm going to cut the whole length. And you just want to cut it out. Like a whole, whole, the whole strip. Or, like I said, you can have it a little shorter if you want it. But I'm, I, I would suggest having it long. Since, you know, Grill Tag Ghosts and all. We're trying to be Grill Tag Ghosts here, people. We be ghosting. We do a little ghosting, you know. Yeah, uh, once you have it cut out, like that, it's really simple here. You want to take this long little goofy arm, and of course you could cut it a little, I might actually. Just cut, you don't want to cut off too much though. So just cut off like a little piece, have a little shorter. Like that. And then take your hand, and you want to, you want to put the hand on the thing, like this. Hold up, you can't really see. Like this. And you want to put some glue on the back of the hand. Like, just not too much. Just a little. Yeah, nice. Since a, a little glue goes a long way. And then you want to take your sti your sticky thing, your little arm, and just simply just put it on the hand. And then, there you go. You got it, yourself a nice little grill tag hand. And then you just want to repeat the same thing again. I'm going to show you what to do. Uh, I'm going to do it again. But if you already know what to do, then just skip it out a little. But yeah. Now what you want to do is you want to take your scissors and like I said earlier, you want to cut out the other hand. And if you know what it was last time, then you, you probably should figure it out. So cut you see there. Just and I have my other hand cut out. Sorry about that. Um pencil markings. Um then you just want to do the same thing. Or if you don't like you just wanna like I said last time, you just wanna cut the square piece off. Last time I said triangle, sorry. Yeah, you want to cut that off, and if you want, make the foam a little shorter, you can go ahead and cut that off, too. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make my hand curvy again like I did last. Oh, wait. I also forgot uh, to mention, you want to cut the V in it, too. So, the... And make sure there's a... It, you don't want your V to be too, too wide, but you don't want it to be too, too thin. You know what I mean? Something like this. And if there's a little part, mark... Left afterwards, that's okay. Just, it's all right. I mean, yeah. If it's something like that, that's okay. But yeah. Um, I'm gonna curve it real quick, and yeah. And last thing. Um, you can also cut like some of the foam off too if it's a little too big, like that. Okay. So now I got my little hand cut out. Um, my uh, and like it's uncurved. You just wanna do the same thing I said last time. Get your paper. And that nevertheless, uh, a little more. A, a same thickness as the last one and yeah you want to cut out the whole thing but you could shorten it to your likings so yeah once you have your arm cut out and then like i said i'm also going to shorten it to my other arm i forgot to do this before i'm, I'm pause the recording but yeah i'm going to cut it to my likings real quick and yeah then once you have your other arm cut out you want to take the glue and just put it just dab a little bit on the so I have a hand like that, just a little, you don't, if you want, unless your hand's pretty big, you don't want to add too much glue, because if you add too much glue, then it's not going to look good, and then just stick it on, there you go, there are your two arms, and then we're going to connect them to the body, so let's go do that. Now, you want to take your two arms, and as you can see, you want to put them behind the body, like this, and make sure there's glue on it, you don't, if you don't have glue, then obviously it won't stick. Unless you're using tape, then, I mean, use tape. I don't really care. As long as it sticks well, then you're good. Yes, take your glue, your glued arm, and pop it behind it. Like that. Or, if you want, you can make it straight sticking out. So make, 
a T pose, but I prefer it looking down like this to make it more gorilla tank vibes, you know? And just do the same thing with your other arm. So take your glue, rub, rub your glue, or if you're using it, tape, which I don't really think since I think glue is kind of easier to use, so that's why I'm not using tape. Sorry for any tape lovers. <laughs> Um, and you just want to take it and just put it behind your body. Like that. And if it's not sticking well or you didn't put enough glue, like let's say you didn't put enough or you put it in the wrong spot, you just use tape to make it uh, work better. So yeah, let's move on to the final part, which is the head. This part only requires your orange and your white, so it kind of say or whatever color you're using in your white. So we won't, wait. Um, so what you want to do is you want to cut a square shape Sorry about that. I don't know why I said wait. And now, um, I would prefer it maybe being not too, too big, but not too, too small. So, just cut out, like, a like a decent-sized square. Don't make it too big, though. I haven't, I, uh, I didn't have the tracing for this, so just make a square, something, something, something along the lines like this, maybe, like a normal square. And if you want, I'm going to do it, but you can make it curved if you want. If you not, then you have a square head, I guess. I don't know. Now, once you have your head curved, or your head in general, you want to have a kind of a T-shaped. You want to cut out a T-shape on your white paper, kind of like this. But since it's a bigger square, I didn't actually think about this until now. It's a bigger square. Make a bigger face, or make a bigger T, I guess. And then you want to put that on the square. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out a bigger T. But, I mean, if you have a smaller head, which is totally fine, you can have a smaller face. But, yeah. Once you have a bigger face like this, you just want to cut it out. And um, if you want, you can go ahead and trace like the details, but on the face before. But since I haven't just really shown you the details, um, you, I would prefer you probably don't, because like I said, I haven't really shown what the details are and what it should look like. So I mean, yeah. So just cut out the uh, the T pick. T. Okay, so now that you have your T-shape cut out, you want to draw the details on the face. So, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and get my scratch piece of paper right here. Now, I'm going to show you guys what to do. So, here, come with me. Come with me. Um, so, what you want to... Uh, hold on, let me get my marker open real quick. So, what you want to do is you want to take your marker and on your face, not on a white piece of paper, not on a white piece of paper, I'm just showing this as an example, but on your little T... So, it should look something, should look uh, like this, okay? Not on the piece of paper. I'm just clearing that up. So, what you want to do is you want to draw a square. This is for the eyes. You want to draw a nice little square like that. <clears throat> and you want to draw a square inside said square like that. And then you just want to draw like a little C in the corner and fill the rest in. Like so. Now, I'm using this sh little thin Sharpie right here it's because it's right here. But you could use anything you want. You could use a color, you can use crayons, you could use markers, whatever. And then you want to do the exact same thing on the opposite side of the T. So square, square. And then um, little C. And then fill it in with whatever choice of coloring tools you're using, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, just fill it in, get it nice and black make sure it's black then right below your two eyes you should have two little dots for the nose and then draw a little doggy mouth like that or like little curvy teeth like that and then make sure and then when you're done the frame if you haven't if you've done all the steps correct your your face should look something like this so yeah that's how you do the facial details and now let's get on to last few steps take your face and you want to put it on here like this and it's okay if it's a little small because i mean nothing's gonna ever be perfect okay it's all right so then you want to take your glue and you want to rub it on the back it's eight o'clock i gotta get the little on the bed sorry my mom on the phone guys um yeah i just want to rub it on the back like so Get it all nice and glued, and then you want to just pop it on your square, and then when you're done, it should look something like this with the face on it. And then the final step 
is you want to take all your other stuff, your body and stuff, and take your head, and you can probably figure out what we do with it. Surprise, surprise, you got to glue it on. What? So you got to take your glue and rub it on the back of the head. Get all nice and glued. Make sure it's the majority of everywhere. You need it to have a good sticky to it. And just pop it on your body. And then... Like that. And there you have your monkey. And really quickly, um, you want to, just in case you don't got to do this, you can finish right here. Bye, if you're doing that. But I mean, for really quick, if you want, you can cut the body off a little because it's really long. You cut some of it off to make it line up more. See, I mean, this was it. This is what it originally looked like. And now look at it now. Much more fitting. Also, one more thing you could do is you could write a gorilla tag name. Like, you, for example, in my in-game name is Monkey. So that's what I'm going to change my name to. Yes, I know. My name is very, like, very, very an interesting name that no one has ever used before. I know, I know. And you may be asking, Action Arc. Well, where are the cosmetics? Your monkey's naked. I'll get that to, to that in the next video since I'm running out of time here. Really quick before I go, I want you to watch this guy, uh, my, my, uh, ne la my last, my last gaming video where I tried out Gorilla Tag's new mode. As you can see right here, there should be a little tag card. And yeah, you click on that and go watch that video. But yeah, it really, really helped the channel. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy playing with your goofy little monkey. I know it may not look the best, but it's still pretty good art and craft. Bye, guys.